good morning children i am kavita jayachandra pillai i will continue with the practice set 33 in the last video we have seen question number 6 how to solve now question number 7 i will do this by horizontal method how you are going to do you are using the vertical method and solving and you can cross check it with horizontal method answer is it clear now the question here is 8a square b cube minus a 5 a cube b square and the other term is 5a square b cube plus 2a cube b square write the question first then check again and again whether you wrote the terms properly now here first term i have added with the second term is that clear to you i put both the expressions in brackets so now you can add bringing the like terms together now the next step will be first i will take this term 8a square b cube if now check what a square b cube term is there or not anywhere here it is a cube b square here it is a square b cube is it clear see this one so i will bring along with the sign plus into plus it is here nothing means plus sign so plus into plus plus itself so plus 5a square b cube is it clear so this and this came together i am marking this with single underlining it and uh, single line i am putting so that you will come to know which i have taken now a square b cube is it clear so i grouped the like terms now here what is remaining minus 5a cube b square minus 5a cube b square now this i took this i took along with this uh, a cube b square term is there or not you check see here a cube b square term is already there so first check the signs plus bracket means into plus into plus this term along with this term the sign is plus plus into plus plus is it clear to you so you will write 2a cube b square now the like terms are together you know how to solve this now it's very easy now add the coefficients now see this one what you get 8 plus 5 
Good morning children. I am Kavita Jaychandra Pillai. I will be taking today your topic 8 algebraic expression and operations on them. We have completed with addition. I will be starting with subtraction now. Now what do you mean by subtraction of algebraic expression? Now to subtract one integer from another means is to add its opposite to the other. Is it clear? Add the opposite to the other. In the topic of integers also during subtraction you have studied this. Now I will give an example for this. Example is subtract 3 from 7. Read the question carefully. You have to subtract means minus. Is it clear? Subtract 3. I have to remove 3 from whom? From 7. So 7 will come here. Is it clear? When you read word problems or whatever question is given, read part by part and form the equation. Now, 7 minus 3 means I can write it in integers. You have studied this also. Uh, 7 plus minus 3. Is it clear to you? To subtract one integer from another means to what is to add, add its opposite to the other. Is it clear? We are adding the opposite to the other number. So, this way also you can write. Now, you know uh, addition of integers and subtraction of integers. So, different sign subtract itself here plus sign here minus sign different sign subtract. What do you get here? 4. 7 minus 3 is also 4. 7 plus minus 3 is also 4. Is this clear to you? We will start with the practice set 34. First question in that see the question read it properly here are slight changes there but very easy it is subtraction but uh, when you subtract you have to remember two things read the question here subtract the second expression which is the second expression here this is the first expression in the bracket this is the second expression see here this sign is there this is the second expression is it clear from the first you have to subtract this so how we will start with it we will see by horizontal method now i have to subtract the second expression i have to subtract the second expression second expression is
example number two of practice set 34 example number two we have to subtract the second expression that is x plus 2y plus 3z this you have to subtract subtract this expression from first one this is the first one so we will be writing this first then what is the next step opening the bracket when minus sign is there open the bracket you know how to open the bracket so what you are going to do is now first we will write the first expression as it is here no sign means plus it is so when it is plus outside the bracket you can open is as it is is it clear to you when it was plus sign no problem was there here a slight change is there that's all now here it is minus into plus so each term is having this minus sign this term is having this minus sign for this term also this minus sign is there for this term also this minus sign is there so along with its sign you combine it you know multiplication of integers so it is very easy for you so minus into here nothing means plus minus into plus minus x now minus into plus minus 2y is it clear now it's open now minus into plus minus and 3z is it clear once this is over then the remaining steps are very easy for you just be careful about the minus sign opening the bracket each term is having that minus sign so take its opposite so here it is it was plus x it became minus plus 2y it became minus 2y when it was plus 3z it became its opposite minus 3z that's all is it clear now take the like terms together i will group all the like terms together now 5x here 5x term and here minus x minus x means only x means 1 is there that you have to remember only x means 1 is there now take the y terms together here 4 y is there see here i will group this we have taken already so i marked it now i am taking this and 2 y see minus 2 y so i will get minus 2 y here now i will what is remaining here plus z term 7 z and what is remaining here z term minus 3 z once you group it now you know how to calculate now 5 x minus 1 x x term it is so see the coefficient 5 minus
गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन फ्रॉम प्रैक्टिस सेट थर्टी फोर वी आर गोइंग टू डू क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री नाउ इन बोथ द मेथड्स वी विल सी नाउ द क्वेश्चन गिवन इज फोर्टीन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एट एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई फ्रॉम दिस यू हैव टू सब्सट्रैक्ट द सेकेंड फ्रैक्शन सेकेंड सॉरी सेकेंड एक्सप्रेशन सेकेंड एक्सप्रेशन इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एट एक्स वाई माइनस सेवेंटीन वाई स्क्वायर दिस यू हैव टू दिस एक्सप्रेशन यू हैव टू सब्सट्रैक्ट मीन्स माइनस दिस सब्सट्रैक्ट दिस सेकेंड एक्सप्रेशन फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट सो यू विल गेट द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज इट क्लियर टू यू हाउ टू राइट इन होरिजोंटल मेथड इज क्लियर सब्सट्रैक्ट द सेकेंड एक्सप्रेशन फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट सो यू विल राइट द फर्स्ट एक्सप्रेशन फर्स्ट देन फ्रॉम दैट यू विल माइनस द सेकेंड एक्सप्रेशन नाउ ओपनिंग द ब्रैकेट दिस वन एस इट इज यू हैव टू कॉपी डाउन here it is plus sign no other sign outside so it is plus sign you can open it as it is so you will get 14 x square plus 8 xy plus 3y square when it is minus here just take the opposite of each term opposite what is the opposite of 26 x square minus 26 x square what is the opposite of this one minus 8 xy plus 8 xy What is the opposite of minus seventeen y square plus seventeen y square? As it is, is it clear to you? Just take the opposite. When it is subtraction, just take the opposite of the number inside the bracket. The same thing when you do this plus into minus into plus minus minus into minus plus minus into minus plus. The same thing. So you are taking the numbers opposite. When it is subtraction, take the number. It's opposite. Twenty six x square. It's opposite is minus twenty six. Is it clear? Minus eight. Its opposite is plus eight x y. Minus seventeen y square. Its opposite is plus seventeen y square. That's all. Now you group the like terms together. Now what are the like terms here? Now see here fourteen x square and minus twenty six x square. Bring any other x square term you search. No. So bring all the like terms together. You will get. Fourteen x square minus twenty six x square. Now what is their next one? Now eight x y and he.
Now in practice set 34, let's see example number 4. What we have to do? Subtract the second expression from the first. That means we have to subtract. This is the second expression in the bracket. This expression we have to subtract from this first expression. Is that clear? So how we are going to so start with subtracting. Subtract minus sign. Subtract this expression from the first expression. Is this clear? Now you know how to do the calculation. Now I am going to show you horizontal method. Now how to do write the first expression as it is. 6 x square plus 7 x y plus 16 y square. Now what about the next bracket? Now here it is subtraction. What to do? Take the opposite of the terms here. Take the opposite of the terms here. Here it is plus 16 inside the bracket it is plus 16 x square so what is the opposite of plus 16 minus 16 x square so it will be this way now what is the opposite of minus 17 x y so its opposite is minus 17 opposite it's plus 17 x y so plus 17 x y now you can see how we have opened opening the bracket also you can do minus into here nothing means plus plus into minus or minus into plus is minus so minus 16 x square if I open with this minus into minus plus is it clear minus into minus plus and what is here 17 x y that way also you can do now group the similar terms together and you will get the you can solve it and get the answer so I will group the similar terms together here I have marked with similar color markers I have marked the like terms together so 6 x square terms I have taken x square terms first so 6 x square and see this minus 16 x square no other x square terms here so I took them together then I took x y terms see with green I have shown you this one one here and here 17 x y both are like terms so I took them together along with the sign now here plus 16 y square is alone no other y square term is there so I will write it as it is. Is that clear? Now do the calculation.
Now, this is the example number 5. This is the first expression 4x plus 16z and the second expression is 19y minus 14z plus 16x. You have to subtract this expression from the first expression. So, how to write this? See this. This is the first step you have to subtract. So, minus outside this bracket. My subtract the second expression from the first. Now, opening the bracket. First term as it is along with the sign you have to copy down. So, what you get 4x plus 16z as it is you are writing. Now, see here it is subtraction. So, take the opposite of each term and write down or you can open the bracket also. Any one method you can use. 19y. Here it is 19y. Its opposite is minus so, minus 19y. Here it is minus 14z. Why we are taking the opposite? Because here it is minus sign. So, take the opposite. During for subtraction rule it is. So, take the opposite of this. So, it is plus 14z. And here it is plus 16x means it is minus 16. No, opposite is minus 16x. Is this much clear? Or you can open the bracket this way. Minus into plus minus 19y. Then minus into minus plus 14z then minus into plus minus 16 x as it is. Now, group all the like terms together. Now, 4 x I have grouped all the x terms together here 4 x and here minus 16 x both are like terms. So, I group them together. See with same color I have marked down. Now, I have to take z term. Now, here it is plus 16 z. So, here I took it here plus 16 z and here it is plus 14 z. So, I took it here. So, we group these two together. But what is remaining alone? Y term is remaining alone. So, minus 19 y as it is I wrote here. Now, do the calculation for this. Now, this was a second step put here equal to sign. This was the first step, second step. Now, do the calculation now 4 x minus 16 x. Now, 4 minus 16. Here it is 4 means 4 plus 4 it is. So, plus 4 and minus 16 are the numbers. So, different sign subtract.